Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. It is Enigma here. I am on Hollywood Story today for my weekly series and we are back. I'm so excited. I love this series. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it as well. Keep commenting, keep liking, and keep subscribing. It is one of the best ways to support my channel. Today we are going to be answering the phones and then kind of just deciding where we want to go. I'm kind of thinking I want to head back to the Maldives and figure out the situation there with Jenna and the Jenna Deves and try and get her kicked out but we'll see where the phone calls take us so without further ado let's get into it so here we are in our fabulous aspen apartment and i love our new dress let's answer the phone it's amber of course it's amber hey hi amber please help me i don't know what to do what's wrong i'm torn you don't know whether to date that guy from the karaoke bar or jason poor you everybody wants to date you no, Amber, I decided to break up with him, but I don't know if I should agree to go out with Jason. Okay, what guy from the karaoke bar? There's so many. <laughs> you see, when we were in school, we used to date. He was my first love. Oh my goodness, guys, we are getting the Jake backstory. So I should probably explain who Jason is for those of you that don't know. He was our boyfriend when we were in school, when we were a lot younger, um, and he actually owns the Las Vegas Casino. Recently, he sent us a gift and he asked us out, but the last time we talked to him, we mentioned this guy named Jake, and he knew what we were talking about, but the storyline never actually explained to like the viewers what was going on, so I'm really excited to figure out what the deal is. But there was this other guy, Jake. He was our friend, and he kind of had a crush on me. Jake was always sort of mysterious and one day he just disappeared. Gone. Just like that. That's so weird. What? Yeah. He called me once telling me not to worry. He said he couldn't explain why he had to leave. The problem is that I was thinking about breaking up with Jason but then Jake disappeared and Jason and his family moved away. All I was left with were mixed feelings toward both of them. Wow, that's really interesting. I wonder what happened to Jake. Maybe he entered the witness protection program or something. Oh, wow. This sounds so complicated. But things are different now. You and Jason are adults now. That's all in the past. Yeah. So when I saw him again, I acted all normal, like nothing happened. He did too. But now he's gotten you all confused, asking you out and stuff. Exactly. I guess I should probably just talk to him. Hmm. I'm really interested about that. Maybe we should go talk to Jason, guys, and then we will head to the Maldives. Hi, I've been expecting you. Hey, I wanted to see you. We have to talk. Definitely. I feel like I should apologize. I may have acted a bit bold. I didn't want to pressure you into doing anything. I'm sorry if I made you uncomfortable. Oh, please, I'm a big girl. You just got me thinking of everything that happened. It caught me off guard, that's all. Well, what do you say? Should we go out and see where it takes us? Make a fresh start? Well, what do we say, guys? Let's say I don't know, but I do. There's nothing to lose here. We get along great and we could both use a break. You're right, let's go. Awesome, all right, okay, cool. So I'm kind of glad that's working out with Jason. We have um, a new guy who's so much better. Only one paparazzi? Who do you think I am, friends? A million fans here. <laughs> that is really surprising though. That's actually super weird. There's usually four. Okay, anyway, what I was gonna say was, um, I'm really happy about that because we are done with Zach. We are over and done with with him And I just want like somebody who's nice and is actually thoughtful and actually is appreciative and respectful because Zach is a total jerk <laughs> Okay, so we need to deal with Jenna just to remind her about the Maldives situation because it has been quite a while since I've been on this island Honestly, I just felt kind of attacked by all of the inhabitants and I did not want to deal with Jenna or any of them ever again And not the hipsters. I'm not a hipster fan. So we took a little break, but I'm glad to be back here and hopefully we can save this beautiful island and our fabulous apartment from Jenna who planned to take it over. Oh my goodness. Every time. <laughs> Every time it takes me for a whirl. You really like coming here, don't you? Yeah, I do. Jenna Deves is such a nice place. Yeah. I feel a gratitude and I want to give you another gift. I have another statue for you. Why would I need another one? Well, two is better than one, right? I don't want it. Bye. Oh my gosh, she's the rudest person ever. What am I supposed to do now? Ugh, I have to think of something else. So basically, our plan was, just a reminder, we were going to bring a statue full of hipsters and basically release them all and scare her um, because she's afraid of beards. <laughs> Random, but we figured that out. Uh, but 
she distracted the hipsters with fresh avocados last time and it failed, but she doesn't want another statue. So Cactus is the hipster that's been helping us, but um, he's kind of getting on my nerves because he has no plans, they always fail. But whatever, we're gonna be optimistic. We are going to save the Maldives today. I hope that Cactus has something on his little hipster mind. Okay, so we are going to go and talk to Cactus um, at the karaoke bar. All right, perfect. So let's go see him. Hopefully he will have an amazing solution for us. Um, and we will just just make things right for the Jenna Deeves. Enigma, my hipster army is ready to enter the statue. That's how hipsters sound, by the way. Just, of course, all of them sound like that. <laughs> Jenna doesn't want the statue. I can't do anything. Oh, do you have any other plan? Nope. How about you? No, not really. So, what do we do now? Do we really have to accept the Maldives will never be the same again? No, Cactus. We're gonna stop Jenna. We just need a little time to think. Okay. Are you done? I need a little more time. All right. Are you done now? No, you're kind of slow. Wow, <laughs> roasted. You think of something then, Cactus? You're kind of annoying. Oh, who the heck is this guy? Spell some change. No, his name is Antonio. Is Antonio? I can't really tell if Antonio is a Spanish name or Italian name. Like I can't do a boy Spanish accent. He's gonna be French, whatever. Everyone's French. Spare some change. Sorry, I have nothing. That was weird. <laughs> Cactus, I have a brilliant idea. Let me hear it. That guy has a beard. We need him. Jenna is afraid of beards and he has one. Okay. And we need his friends with beards. Wait. Isn't that exactly the same as the hipsters? I don't get how this makes the plan any better. Also, how do we know he has friends with beards? But how do you plan to bring them to the Maldives? We are going to organize a charity event. I'll convince Jenna that she needs to show her gentle side. Good luck with that. And Katie will organize everything. What should I do? Stay here and prepare hipsters so they come back to the Maldives when everything's ready. Okay, I can do that. Fantastic. Okay, this is a weird plan, but I think it actually might work. Although I can't really imagine Jenna ever wanting to do anything nice for anyone else. Here she is. Wow, you're such a fan of my island, aren't you? Absolutely. Okay, what do you want this time? I don't want new statues. You should organize a charity event. No. Why did I think this would be a good idea? Oh, what? <laughs> Spell some change? Hey, how did you appear here? What do you mean? How did you enter the island with your beard? You discovered my secret. You have a secret? I'm an actor. I'm playing a homeless person in the next movie. And I'm a method actor. So I'm pretending to be homeless in real life. This is just a fake beard I put on sometimes. Wow, that's perfect. Yeah, I've dedicated my life completely to acting. We just need fake beards. I'm gonna call Leon and everyone and that's it. And by the way, bye. Being homeless is really hard. Okay, well that was random. Let's play a little casino game in the meantime and then we will get back to the drama. 500 cash, wow, okay, whatever. Hey, I'm still at the karaoke bar. Do you need me? I figured everything out. We're gonna be just fine. See ya. Wait, okay, we don't need the hipsters, I guess. I guess because they all have beards, it kind of defeats the point. Wait, we're meeting Jenna again? I'm so confused. Maybe the plan was figured out in all that time. And we leveled up, yay. We're almost to 50, guys, woo -hoo. What do you want now? You won't believe who decided to come to your island. Who? Manalo. Hey, Jenna. Why do you have a beard? It looks cool, doesn't it? I have a fantastic idea. I'd like to open a new salon on this island. I, I just can't believe. I could take care of people's beards here all day long. What? Anyhow, it was nice seeing you. I have a lot of work in order to open a salon. Bye. Oh my goodness, this is great. Hi, Jenna. What do you think of my beard? This is not happening. I'll create a special fashion show. Beards only. I think I'm gonna throw up. See you around. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Charlie says hello. This is terrible. What do you think of my beard? <sighs> what did I do wrong? 
Charlie, you were great. So, does that mean you want to date Charlie? No. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, dude. <laughs> wow. I still can't believe that Jenna is afraid of beards. Blessed be the coconut. Blessed be Enigma. Jenna is gone. Welcome back to your old island life. Thanks a lot. Great Scott. I feel like you would just say that. Blessed to be the hipsters. Now I know that hipsters belong here. We're going to live in perfect harmony. And we'll never let Jenna come here. Free coconut cocktail for every hipster. Thank you, Leon. I have something really special for you. I'll tell you a secret about one very special place the next time you come here. That sounds exciting. Yes. I hope to see you soon. I'll come here soon for sure. Oh, and it's Charlotte. Enigma, thank you a lot. I have no idea what we'd do without you. Don't mention it. I love helping people. That's just what I do. You can always count on us. Thank you, Charlotte. Okay, this is definitely progress because previously they really could not stand us. I saved the world again. I deserve a long vacation now. Yay, we did it. I'm so, so happy. We're gonna receive some gifts from our fans. And I'm just so happy, guys, that everything is turning out and Jenna Deves is gone forever. And I'll leave, no prizes. But actually, that trophy is a really good prize because those are expensive. They're like 100 diamonds each. Okay, cool. There you go. Yay, we did it and we completed the story, which is totally awesome. We're getting another phone call. Hello, Leon. Am I speaking to my favorite actress? Wow, it's so nice to hear from you. Some time has passed, <laughs> not quite, but I'll never forget what you did for our island. I want you to come here for dinner and you can't say no. Well, my schedule is pretty packed. I'm not taking no for an answer. I'll see you soon. Well, I'll see what I can do. I knew it. Okay, I think we should actually continue with this mission today just because we are having a Maldives themed episode and we definitely need to celebrate after the amazing win we had against Jenna. Hopefully we never see her again. But in the other storyline, she's currently on the run. So actually I do want to see her again and see her in prison. Welcome back to the most beautiful island in the world, darling. Breathe in this tropical air. It's so good to be back. Where's Charlotte? Oh, she was very excited to hear you'll be visiting again. I can see that. Enigma, you're back! Charlotte, how are you doing? Fantastic. I found a new boyfriend. Oh my goodness, guys. Charlotte had the saddest wedding ever. She was dating this hipster named Homer and he left her at the altar. And we were officiating the wedding and it was kind of a nightmare because Leon was throwing flaming coconuts at us the whole time. You should definitely check out that episode if you haven't already. It was pretty chaotic. Let me guess, a hipster? I'm no longer into hipsters. Oh, this guy is a hippie. They're much better than hipsters. What's the difference? Hipsters eat avocados and shop at secondhand stores. Hippies do whatever hippies do. If they don't want to invade Maldives, I'm fine with them. Well, I'm happy if you're happy. Of course I'm happy. He is my soulmate. How long have you been together? About two weeks. And you already know that you're soulmates? Well, duh. I met him after the last full moon. What's that supposed to mean? Is he a werewolf or something? That's the time when you meet your soulmates. Dad, explain it to Enigma. Yes, um, that is an old Maldivian tradition. You must be familiar with our beach here. Absolutely, I love it. Aside from its beauty, it's also rich with magical powers. Magical powers? The day after every full moon, you can find your true soulmate here. Wow. Many people have found their soulmates this way. Um, we don't allow foreigners to participate in such events, but we can make an exception for you. Wow, okay, that's actually really cool. You want me to find a date on your beach during the full moon? I have the karaoke bar for that. Not only your date, you're gonna find true love here. Charlotte's such a hopeless romantic. Give it a try tomorrow, the full moon is tonight. Um, yes, try it if you like. You might find the right one for you. 
and you'll just know they're the right person for you. Just like your new boyfriend is for you, right? Exactly, and we're so happy together. I guess I could give it a try, even though I'm quite sure it's a hopeless cause. Oh, come on, have some faith. We could go on double dates, girl. Let me meet my soulmate first, and then we'll talk double dates. Oh my goodness, what an awesome opportunity. This is such a cool experience, I'm so excited. Don't forget about the full moon, girl. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. Meet your soulmate. Okay, where are we supposed to go to meet our soulmate? Oh, we're back at the Maldives, okay. Is this our soulmate, guys? By the Bengal tiger and by the beach? Okay, time to meet my soulmate. I can't wait for another useless date to happen. Why am I doing this? I shouldn't have let Leon and Charlotte talk me into it. Wait, I heard something. Hey, who's there? Hey, you're here. Hey, my name is Matt. I'm your soulmate. <laughs> I thought that this soulmate thing is going to be a bit more subtle. Did I do something wrong? You can't just jump in front of people and tell them that you're your soulmate. I don't see anything wrong with that. I know my soulmate would understand. Who are you? I'm Matt. I'm an accountant. My soulmate is an accountant? Oh, I mean, that's, that's interesting. Any hobbies? Sports? I play chess. Chess? That's hardly a sport. That was a joke. I'm a scuba diver in my free time. Oh, that's actually pretty interesting. I could tell you more about it over drinks. Well, we're soulmates after all. Drinks today, wedding tomorrow. Fine with me. That was one of my jokes. Ah. Good one. <laughs> I'm so confused. What is happening? In that case, let's start with drinks. Great. Drinks soon. He's a bit weird. But it's fine. It's only a drink. He's not your soulmate, Enigma. What do you guys think? Do you think Matt is our soulmate? I don't know. He seems nice. He plays chess and he's an accountant. Oh wait, I think with chess was his joke. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think. I would like to get married at some point so we can adopt a kid. And basically, just a little update, we always have Marco, who were technically, I don't even know what happened to our relationship. We've got Liam, that's right. We've got, these are just our friends. So Marco, Liam, and then we have Eric. Eric as well. Those are our three options on here. And then it looks like we have Jason and Matt as well. So I think as far as our wedding though, we only get to choose from our contacts list because that's like kind of a separate thing. They treat like the story in this game and the stuff you can do outside of the story as separate things. So like we might be married to one person in one and somebody else in another. It's kind of weird, but that's how they do it. So let me know, are you guys team Tony? We'll, we'll include Tony in here, why not? Team Tony, team Marcus, team Eric, Team Liam or Team Marco? That is a lot of options. Here, I can show you them. So here's Marco, this is Liam. He wears glasses, which is a little weird because we can't see his face, but whatever. Tony, Marcus, and Eric. So let me know um, who you guys think we should marry and we'll make it happen. <laughs> it's just as easy as that, huh? Okay, anyway, um, I think that's where I'm gonna have to end today's episode. It was a little bit of a shorter one, but I had a lot of fun and I feel like this is a good stopping place in preparation for next episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like and consider subscribing for more videos like these and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys!